kindness and grace. Nita? Ricky. Oh, boy, you didn't waste any time getting here. Well, I told you you could count on me, and I just wanted to prove it. I never doubted it. What's wrong? Oh, the same thing that's always wrong. It's Billy Joe again. What is it this time? Nita, do you know where he's at? Uh, uh, he was here this morning, but I have no idea where he is right now. What are the charges? Parole violation, for the record. For the record? Well, that's uh, what the warrant says, but uh, we've been warned about him. Well, what do you mean, warned? Sorry, ma'am. We were told he was armed and dangerous. Well, it's just... I, I mean, Billy Joe is not dangerous. He knows why we're looking for him. He might be. Besides, we want to question him about a murder. Hey. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, listen, I, I want to hear from you uh, as soon as you pick up right and bring him in. Yeah, very good. Thanks again, Doc. Is that the phone call you've been waiting for? Mm-hmm. You're the woman I've been waiting for. Oh, I'm happy to hear that. Oh, well, you're going to be much happier when you hear what that phone call was about. What? See, the police have uh, found the rifle they think shot Alex. Well, they think? Aren't they sure? Well, uh, preliminary ballistics indicate that they got their gun. Now they just need to get their man. They're working on that right now. Mm, I knew Justin didn't do it. We all knew. Well, uh, Alex was the first one who said he didn't. I know, Ryan, but I'm still afraid. Of what? That I'd think uh, Justin was guilty, too? Even if you didn't. For Justin to be on trial for killing your uncle, well, that certainly would have come between us. And I think we've had enough to put up with already. You mean that you would have been betraying the Marshall family if you married me? I could never do that. The Marshalls are family, just like my father and Jeb. Steve is a Marshall. I would never want him to grow up without the other marshals around, in Be Barrett's memory. Well, I wouldn't want that either. At first, I thought that you wanted to wipe out every trace of Barrett. Oh, come on. You can't erase the people out of your life. Barrett was a big part of your life, and he always will be. Not every man could be that generous. Well, not every man has you. I can afford to be a, a little generous. Cheers. You know, Jenny, uh, I don't need to occupy every square inch of your life, in the present or in the past. Because Jenny Hampton Marshall was a beautiful human being before I ever set eyes on her. Every year, every second of the life you lived before I met you helped to make you who you are. Helped to make you the woman I fell in love with. Including all that time you spent with Barrett. So no, I don't resent that time at all. I, uh, I'm grateful for it. And for the Hamptons and the Marshalls and... I just want to be a part of your family. Will be. Some people think you already are. Oh, yeah? Well, uh, how about Kate? Oh, yes, Kate. And Steve. Who? <laughs> you know, yesterday, he told me if I didn't stop treating him like more of a man, then he was going to ride Little Star into Houston, find you, and the two of you would take off for a trip around the world together. <laughs> <laughs> uh, both of us on Little Star? <laughs> 
Well, that uh, presents kind of a problem, doesn't it? then uh, problems have a way of working themselves out. I don't think anybody knows uh, more about that than you do. Well, I had my reasons for trying. Holding on to the past would mean giving you up, and I just, well, the price was too big to pay for that. I'm really glad I got a chance to talk to Elliot Carrington, too. His stories about the last days in that prison camp and the escape attempt he answered questions for me, and it really helped me put the uh, I would like you to recommend someone to prepare a thorough report on him. But I can't help feeling that Elliot Carrington is a dangerous man. He could be a very dangerous man. Because he knows you're Dennis's father, right? That and what happened. What is it? Oh, uh, I was just remembering the conversation you had with Carrington. Uh, I remember uh, Alex had a lot of questions uh, he wanted to ask Elliot Carrington, too. But since the police are after the man they think shot Alex, uh, I guess Carrington's of no immediate concern. You know what? There's something on my mind. It's very important. Me, too. Oh, yeah? Well, ladies first. Age before beauty. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay, two hints. First hint is a uh, march down the aisle. And the second hint is a honeymoon. This includes a honeymoon anywhere in the world where there are balmy sea breezes and starry skies. But first, you have to give me the date. Oh, two great minds running the same wavelengths. That's exactly what I came here to talk to you about. Come here. Part of the reason I came here. We talked about I'm um, getting married before Christmas, and I just thought since Alex is dead, no, no, no. I, Alex would want this. So I want it this way. I do too. Christmas with my husband and my son yeah. by the fire. Under the mistletoe, huh? Mm, that's where I want to be. How about before Christmas? How about Christmas Eve? How about tonight? Mm -hmm. 